This is 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast 112, 2021 Fortune and Luck Part 1. Welcome to the 5-Minute Feng Shui Podcast, where each week I talk about how to move energy and make money. You'll learn how to create a prosperous home and an abundant life using classical Chinese Feng Shui. I'm your host, Katie Weber, publisher of the Red Lotus Letter Feng Shui Easing for Wealth. Each week, I'll cover feng shui topics that can help you improve your life, share inspiring stories, and always end with three easy to implement feng shui tips that you can put to work right away, and usually in about five minutes. Now let's get started on the five minutes that could change your life. Hello there, and welcome to today's podcast, episode 112. Gosh, it's going so fast. (laughs) It's hard to believe, 112 episodes already. We are going to be talking about the year of the metal ox and the fortune and luck of the year. This is part one, and we're going to talk about kind of a broad overview and the misfortune stars. We're going to get all that nasty stuff out of the way, like um, the five yellow and the two black and seven. Oh yeah, that's seven. I'm so glad to be seeing it moving on out of here. And this month just can't <laughs> get over soon enough. I, I mean, I love Christmas and I love this time of year and it's so much fun. Uh, right now we actually have a challenge going on in my private Facebook group and it is called the five day giving challenge. And each day has a different theme uh, like food and warmth cheer and and that kind of thing those sort of themes and today is about food and my husband and I are going to be taking some um, food over to our local food bank we have an abundance of citrus we've got grapefruit trees lime trees lemon trees oh gosh and a beautiful satsuma orange tree that is just loaded and we have more fruit than we can than we can possibly eat and we are so delighted to be able to share our fresh fruit with the food bank and give them fresh food you know fresh fruit is so important uh, especially this time of year to help with bolster your immunity and uh, and and I also like to think of it as giving back uh, yesterday my son and I made cabbage rolls I mean I love cabbage rolls and I was mentioning them to we have an older neighbor who is just an absolute he's our I, I our guardian angel when we moved into this house and he was talking about cabbage rolls and how much he loved them and so I said I'm gonna just go surprise him with a, a dish of cabbage rolls and even his wife who usually doesn't like to eat meat uh, said she had some because she hadn't had them since she was a little girl and it was just been fun to to have this kind of a focus of giving and 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 sharing what you have and sharing what you can give in any way you can. I really believe in the power of giving and spreading joy and being and friendliness too. You know, I just love my neighbors. I have, I just have a lovely neighborhood. In fact, I had a neighbor who was saying how much she liked the landscaping we had done around our yard. And she said she where she lived, and I said, oh, I know where your house is. I have admired your papaya tree. She actually has these, uh, these trees, two trees filled with papayas. Well, I remembered that she, and she, she came by later and dropped one off, and she dropped off a recipe for candied citrus peel because she was telling me how much she liked my citrus. And uh, this was in September. And I remembered how much she liked the candied citrus peel and said, oh, she just loves to get fresh citrus for that. And I, I surprised her uh, day before yesterday, Sunday, and uh, dropped off a big basket full of lemons and oranges and grapefruit. And she surprised me with a big basket of more papayas and those are going to go to the food bank too. see how those ripples go out I really encourage you find a way to give to others my husband loves to give out five dollar Starbucks cards to especially to cashiers at grocery stores give them your love and thanks they have been our constant through this chaos of the seven star and the pandemic and the coronavirus and they're there for us all the time so you know find a way to spread some cheer and share the wealth and and to show your gratitude we need it more than ever don't we well let's talk about uh, now that we're all 
<laughs> now that we've been talking about all that warm, fuzzy feeling kind of stuff, which I just love doing, but we do have to be practical, right? There's the reality of the year and what we're dealing with. And we have had quite a year, have we not? <laughs> Boy, it's going to be, I am so ready to pop the cork on 2021 and the new year. So let's talk about, let's talk about what is going to be coming up because lots of people want to know at the beginning of the year, is the ox going to be a lucky year? Uh, it's a fair question too, but let's kind of start in the current year where we are, where we are now, which is that reigning seven star. And this month it's doubled as it moves into 2021. And it is a, the contributor to the pandemic we're in currently. That seven star, I'm not kidding you, is, is uh, such a thing. My husband has cut himself so many times. He has uh, tripped and fallen. Uh, so many people I've known have had spills and cuts and injuries and accidents. And I just highly encourage you this month, please uh, be, be extra, extra careful. Um, so worried about um, exposure to coronavirus. So worried about you uh, driving and just being safe and careful um, because this seven star is magnified now. And it's kind of like a light bulb that starts getting brighter, brighter, brighter before it goes out. I don't know if you've ever had this, but it's happened to me where a light bulb just gets so bright as it's starting to go out, it hums. And then then it goes pop and explodes. That's actually happened to me. We, in fact, we had this one time a light bulb in my kitchen in our house in Austin where we used to live and it, these lights would literally explode. So I've seen that happen and that's what the energy is like right now. Really lots of tension, so much going on cosmically. <laughs> it's just a lot. So here's what I want to say. Have a lot of chamomile tea. Get anything that is going to soothe your nerves and relax you. Uh, last night it was nice and cold. We sat by the fire and, uh, and relaxed because that seven star is going to make us amped up and feel a little anxious and we can also be not as cautious as we need to be and that's what is so important this month until we get well into January and as we move toward February it's just going to get better and better and it's going to ease off and we're going to find that the the six star comes in and it's like a it, it, it's going to be a whole new uh, scenario so let's just talk about the seven star. So I, I know I was talking about the buzzing of a, of a light bulb before it breaks. Uh, I also have tinnitus and, um, and if, and that is what seven, the seven star reminds me is tinnitus. And if you've ever had that buzzing sound of like electronic crickets in your ear, you know that you have to just keep persevering despite the sound until at some point, some random moment, it just stops and it's a glorious silence. <laughs> I say that 2020 is similar to a long, a year long bout of tinnitus. You just had to bear with that non-stopping whizzing sound and go on about your life, albeit with a mask on. It could have left you kind of feeling tired, annoyed, some people reeling. And that was 2020, that non-stop buzzing and spinning as our norms were cut down, our day-to-day -day life was altered, and, and really reality shifted sometimes moment by moment. Uh, I, I kind of felt like we were living on these shifting sands uh, as my brother-in-law was going through COVID and, and all of Tim's family ended up getting COVID. Uh, his nephew got it twice. Hey, you know, what a year, right? <laughs> but it's the qualities of the ox year. This is the one, this is the, the element of earth, the ox, uh, that will help us to create some sense of order out of the past year and all that we've gone through and help us feel grounded again and regain that solid footing. And, and this new star that's coming in 2021 is something to set your sights on. It's going to uh, be asking us bigger questions and putting our eyes on bigger sights and, and our vision on a, 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 a to, to be so far that uh, out into space. I mean, literally we'll be going further. We will be exploring more and more into space, but I also want you to be thinking really big thoughts. I want you to be thinking, what is it you've wanted to go for? What is it you've wanted to do in your life? Something big for yourself. You know, we, we do a lot of half measures for ourselves. And I'm asking you to not do a half measure on your life and your goals and your dreams. Because this year, the sixth year is there to help you. Uh, and I, I, I love how the sixth star, I, I 
in my success pack and my forecast, I liken the six star to Hannibal astride his war elephants coming in to restore order. I don't know if Hannibal was a good guy or a bad guy. Uh, I just know he's a conqueror. <laughs> Anyhow, but the point is, is that there's going to be a bigger energy in town that's going to kick that little seven uh, brat out of the way <laughs> and, uh, and is going to help create order out of all that chaos of the seven star. So what we want to talk about is the sort of the overarching influence, which is this rainy six star. Uh, it is all things big and strong, like tanks and governments and laws and police. Uh, but this year, uh, this is going to be tempered by the yin energy that is the yin metal influence of 2021. This, I believe, is going to put many more women into positions of power and authority. That's very exciting, uh, if, if you ask me. Now, you know, all years pass in duality. We have all the years go in doubles. So we have two years of water, two years of wood, two years of, of fire. And they're yang metal and yin metal, yang water and yin water. So that's the way the energy moves from year to year. And we just had a yang metal year. And that's why I believe that seven star was so virulent uh, because it was yang metal. And, and, and the seven star rules the lungs and the mouth. How, where, where, how do, was it spread the coronavirus? Your mouth. How do, where did it go to? Your lungs. Now we are in a yin metal year and yin metal yin energy isn't always thought of positively, but it should be. Women are yin energy. We are the repository for bearing children and for caring for our families. This is, we are the encompassing arms that holds the child with the scraped knee. That is yin energy. I want you to think of that like that. Think of your grandmother. I don't know. I had a grandmother uh, whose house, uh, she had, I think, three rocking chairs. And I just remember if I ever I felt bad or something, my grandmother's scoop me up in her uh, in her arms and she would rock me and if you've ever been rocked as a child you know how lovely that is and that's how that's the image I want to give you for yin energy there's just nothing as lovely to a child I don't believe as being rocked in your maternal uh, arms or your grandparents or your grandmother's arms and that's the energy that I want you to be thinking of now yin is defined to, as the energy that goes inward and the sixth star is a star that's all encompassing so global and big. So we've got this big global thing going inward. Well, when I put those two things together, that means vaccine. <laughs> and I think, and right now, here in the last week, it is all kicking off and rolling out. Very exciting times uh, ahead, I think, to as we hopefully, like we did in the 50s with polio, uh, we're able to uh, conquer this virus and uh, I'm hoping like like measles like like tetanus my grandfather had lockjaw I you know you step on a nail now you can go to the the doctor and get a tetanus shot and not have lockjaw and I'm hoping um, and we no longer have to deal with measles and uh, and with and, and with polio um, and and this is the hope that the coronavirus vaccine uh, coronavirus vaccine will be able to put a stop to the spread let's hope so it, it but this it, on the bigger on the bigger scale, this is a vaccine that really has worldwide implications for our entire planet. I this is the definition, the very definition of an all-encompassing energy in my book. Now, please don't send me nasty emails or or notes about vaccines. I'm telling you facts. The the <laughs> polio vaccine did stop polio, and this is a. I'm, I'm not saying go get a vaccine. I'm not saying that vaccines are the end all be all. If you think they're you know Satan incarnate it that's fine uh, you know don't get the vaccine but I'm telling you what is going on and what looks like the energies are so please bear that in mind uh, now let's talk about the energies or the stars of 2021 now now the star we are dealing with as we talked about is the six reigning star and we always start with that star because it has it wields the greatest influence over our entire year gosh knows we saw the unfavorable influence of the seven star in 2021 so the six star coming is going to be a welcome energy right and it this is still though going to continue the theme on the virus 
because that's why because the, the six star is like its little brother the seven it also rules the lungs additionally it affects the head and face well what are we talking about you know coughing and and uh, covering our nose and our face with wearing masks and being smart about uh, health those health precautions so we've got to be thinking about you know continuing on with our uh, with our mask over our head and face or over our face anyway nose and mouth and uh, and and also the potential for continued uh, um, virus transmission that is still definitely a strong possibility. Now, let's talk about the the how, where the six star is going to. It's in the center sector. This is one of the three primary sectors, the or the three heavenly sectors and the three heavenly palaces, which is the center, the northwest, and the southwest. The northwest represents male or yang energy. The southwest represents yin or female energy, and the six star is sort of the the uh, all encompassing, and the and the and the six star is always or excuse me it's in the center sector. It represents health, wealth, and and relationships. So this is this center is sort of the where everything orbits around and the six star here is a beautiful energy that bestows favor and achievements power influence and authority better still the six star being in the center of health wealth and relationships also represents a unification of heaven and earth heaven being the six star and earth being the center sector they were really harmonious ar arrangement i love the idea that we've got this sort of male and female this cosmic male cosmic female this yin and yang energy the six and the and the earth the heaven and earth star i think i think this is a beautiful energy that gets us I hope back to center on where we need to be on taking care of ourselves, each other, speaking to one another, getting some kind of balance back uh, and restored. Now, this is also like a big cosmic wheel of our life turning. So having this fortune star visit here makes it doubly welcome, does it not? That center sector also represents every member of the household, meaning every member of the residence will benefit from this influence. So keep the portion of your house, this the center portion of your house as open as possible so the benefits of the six star, star can flow throughout the house. Um, now let's talk about let's talk about the most important feng shui this is always protective feng shui we always want to make sure that we practice this part of feng shui ahead of all the fun shui which is activating for money and love and that kind of thing we want to handle all the difficult energies first and foremost and then we can move on to the feng shui and activate for opportunity for money for relationships for fame all the feng shui that we like right so let's talk about in this part this is part one we're going to be talking about misfortune stars and let's get that out of the way and first up to bat is that old five yellow uh, this is one of the 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 energies that is uh, the the most disliked and it is moving from the east in 2020 to the southeast now the southeast is the corner of assets investments savings uh, wealth is how it's best known this is where all your like retirement savings are and investment accounts not your income not your job not your salary uh, two different types of money now when it comes to these stars uh, we always look at the five yellow first because it has the potential to be the most damaging and of all those stars it's the five yellow that cr creates the most distress it's an earth element star that's most at home in the center of your home or business its nickname is the bone breaker so that gives you a difficult a clue as how difficult it can be because it actually has broken bones and, and in fact for my mother two times uh, when that star has landed at his, her door and this year the five yellow star gains more strength as it moves from the big wood of the east in 2020 where it it sat to and it slips into the southeast corner of Smallwood in tw in 2021. It doesn't the southeast doesn't have it can't fight that five yellow as much as the east could. Now the southeast again, like I said, is the wealth sector, so it should make some alarm bells go off for you. The southeast deals mostly, as I said, like accumulated assets like your 401k, stocks and bonds, and savings account. Because it's in the wealth corner this is a good idea to watch your investments closely and avoid doing anything risky with your nest egg if you 
haven't done any type of investments before and you want to do it this year, just be very cautious, do your due diligence, work with a planner, find someone you feel very secure about and that comes with great references. And, uh, and if anything feels funny to you or doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Just take steps to ensure that your investments and savings are secure. Don't take risks this year. It's just not worth it. Uh, Unless you really know what you're doing and you feel really confident and you can afford to lose that money. So just, you know what they always say, don't, don't, uh, don't gamble with the money that you and that you can lose. Only gamble with the money you can afford to lose. And that's a that's a really good maxim to live by. And just in general. Now let's talk about the Black Two Illness Star. This falls in the north corner of career, business, and income. The two star is the younger sister of the five yellow, is how I look at it. <laughs> and it's regarded negatively in annual feng shui. It's the number associated with nagging health complaints, financial problems, and all manner of annoying problems. <laughs> when the two stars star flies into your bedroom, for instance, you may find you are beset with a chronic cough or a bill suddenly becomes a problem or in some cases a problem can grow worse. This can create arguments over money, problems with income, and difficulties on the job this year. The lesson here, pair up with coworkers to make work go smoother and keep your resume handy in case of layoffs or opportunities because this year they could very well strike with that six star in the middle. So here's that's the beautiful thing that I want to tell you that although uh, these stars are difficult, we do have that beautiful six star in the middle that can help kind of deflect some of the misfortune stars that we have this year. So watch that you don't activate the two star in the north corner wherever that is. If this is if this is your bedroom or this is your front door, uh, this is not where you want to put your big red decorations <laughs> for the holidays or Valentine's or anything like that. Keep keep the red colors out and avoid flames and candles, that kind of thing. Otherwise, you'll activate that two star even further. Now, let's talk about the three jade argument star. This flies into the southwest corner of women of the house, the marriage and love. And it's a different energy that we, we women are going to be juggling this this year. And, and that three jade argument star um, can make women uncharacteristic characteristically angry, squabble, maybe get into legal problems or have some kind of involvement with a lawyer. There's a high potential for divorce this year because the energies for both men and women's are one are, and women are ones that can cause anger and cutting off of relationships and sadly divorce. Uh, that three star really kind of, you know, signals that for me. Another concern I have for women this year is depression. Whenever there's excess wood in an earth corner like there is this year because of the three jade argument star, it can cause women to feel defeated tired and even depressed and this is a a a year I really want you to pay close attention to your mood your mindset your outlook and if it's not your usual outlook if you're if you're feeling down or depressed talk to a friend go talk to your doctor see what you can do to to change up your schedule or your life in a way that gives you more satisfaction I mean it, it is depressing frankly, this whole past year that everyone has gone through. It's a, it's a wonder we're not all in bed with the, the covers pulled over our head, <laughs> but we can't. We've got to go on, right? But let's talk about relationships because it's really going to pay to, to strengthen your relationships. So take extra care that you don't argue too much and find ways to work together in ways that you can grow together. So that's the sort of the flip side of the argument the argument star the 3j is that there is a potential for growth so place some extra lighting in the southwest sector to keep your marriage and love and and relationships feeling warm and cozy and it'll help everybody in your relationship and and in your household so it's a good thing to add so lots of light over there now as i said there is a seed of growth for women and this is the small aspect of the 3j star visiting the southwest sector that creates a potential for growth and opportunity. That's because the three uses the earth's energy of the Southwest that women or Southwest facing houses or bedrooms can turn into something that will grow. So what seeds would you like to plant in the coming year? This is a great year to get something going that's been going on in the back of your mind maybe. Listen, you don't have to start big. You just have to start. So think of something that you'd like to do. Some 
something that's been in the back of your mind, or maybe it's something brand new, and then go for it. Start making some efforts toward it. It's amazing. This year will help you get something started that can take root and become much bigger in the coming year, and the coming years, in fact. So this is a nice aspect. You know, not all good stars are all good, and not all bad stars are all bad. And this is the lesson uh, that that uh, the stars teach us. Now let's talk about the seven red violent star. This falls in the northwest sector of the man of the house, the breadwinner, the man of the house, the breadwinner, and helpful people. And this is a star that's been in the center sector. So yes, this whole 2020 year <laughs> where the seven stars been in the center, it's going to the sector of the breadwinner or of, of the man of the house and, and helpful people. You may see people who have been helpful to you cut off. Uh, they, that can happen. This um, red star is uh, is the star that can create problems with infection. And so I'm very concerned. More men are disproportionately dying of COVID than than other other uh, than females or children. But particularly men, uh, I think it was I read a report, uh, ages 50 and up are dying disproportionately, like almost like two thirds more. This is my concern. With the seven star falling there, I worry about uh, men falling more prone to COVID. Uh, we're all COVID tired and COVID fatigued, but it's a possibility that that could happen. And the other thing that COVID can cause is cardiovascular problems. Sometimes, um, sometimes this can uh, men die of heart attacks versus COVID. And I know that that's happened to someone on my private Facebook page. Her hus husband went into the hospital for COVID, but it wound up dying a heart attack. It's really tragic. And that's what I want to warn you about. If you've got a man in your household that is 40 or over, well, hell, <laughs> excuse me, I just said hell, but that's okay. Uh, if you have a man in your household, um, do take extra care of them. Be careful. Um, ask them to be careful. Be cautious. Um, do watch out for things like uh, losing jobs, also high blood pressure. If they have any cardiovascular issues whatsoever, get everything checked out. It, this is a this is a year I really worry about men, and uh, I also worry about men being angry. Uh, seven is an anger star. I'll be frank. I worry about them becoming maybe some men may become more abusive, uh, and um, their mouths they may spout off, and uh, I worry about that. And if there's a potential for violence or seed of violence or anger that can spin out of control, that seven star will push it that way. So just want you just to be aware of that and just know that. So when you're dealing with men who are angry, they can become irate. If you're dealing with irate, they could become uh, abusive or they could become violent. So this is what the warning I'm, I'm sending out to you. It's not that uh, your husband's going to be doing that or that your father or brother or son or whoever is going to be doing that. But just if you're dealing with men in general, like don't cut people off in traffic and then flip them the bird or something like that because y they might run you off the road. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and the other thing is to watch over the men in your life because we are talking about the, the absolute lung and mouth, the COVID star moving into the sector of men. So I really want to uh, um, stress that for you because we're, we're likely to see the effects of the seven star continuing on uh, as the, because the, when it moves into the, into the Northwest sector, this is also the global sector, the international sector. So it's, this means that it's still going globally and it is, is it not? But the bright spot is that that seven represents a hypodermic needle, I believe. And I'm hopeful, hopeful that the global aspect of the Northwest corner means that we do have this vaccine uh, coming out and rolling out to everybody, uh, whether you want to take it or not up to you, but just mentioning that. Um, and, and don't forget that this corner also represents international interests, corporations, country heads, and figures. Uh, then there could be, you might see threats. Uh, we, I think globally, we might see threats to heads of state. We might see more knife attacks like those in the France, in France in the fall of 2020, um, or threats or betrayal for the breadwinner or men that you love closely. So, uh, men will want to watch, uh, all promises and not take any kind of chances on health or money or their well-being. Um, Make sure that you do due diligence on all offers and make
make maintain really good personal financial and household security because there's a potential for a breach there too also break-ins that kind of thing in fact all men and women will want to keep close tabs also on their mindsets and personal outlook with a long year of the pandemic in 2020 and still going on probably into 2021, the stress and strain can take a toll. And my concern is the loss of and the strain on relationships, people, the po potential for depression, divorce, and continued loss that we can squarely pin on the pandemic. These are the energies that we're dealing with this year uh, that are gonna create the probably the biggest problems for us. And the bright star that I want you to focus on, though, is that sixth star in the center. It's like a giant cleansing star. And as a, as a matter of fact, one of the one of the things it's sort of likened to is like the sun uh, is a very bright uh, energy. Even though uh, you don't activate it with bright lights, uh, it is like the sun. It's like a it's like a a star. And that's the the benefit that we have coming and the thing that is going to be the antiseptic for our year ahead and to help manage some of the difficult energies that we're dealing with well okay there you have it all the all the band-aids have been ripped off and we <laughs> and we got through the misfortune stars and uh and we're getting through the big misfortune year are we not and this is uh one of the the things that you know i want to stress on that well, as i've talked about today these these stars are ones that we just don't want to fool around with and that you need to address in your home so if you want more information about how to do that how to keep them from causing you further problems and to really make sure that your house is really protected and that you can feel confident about your luck and your life in 2021 please check out my year of the ox feng shui forecast you can find out all about it at redlotusletter.com forward slash metal ox that's redlotusletter.com forward slash metal ox hey i can't wait to talk to you next week on part two the fortune stars this is going to be our fun shui podcast have a great day and i'll talk to you next week the blessing star is coming to 2021 making the year of the ox a breakout year ready to get a big leg up on success love and happiness then this is your year and it's why you need to read my feng shui forecast and success pack for 2021 the year of the ox you get a full breakdown of feng shui for every house every zodiac sign and you'll learn where the wealth and opportunity energies are in the year ahead so head over right now to redlotusletter.com forward slash metal ox for all the details on 2021 and the year of the ox.